So I'll start with the gentleman who only has four gold medals, who's the Team USA's not only all-time leading scorer, but he owns so many records in that category. So I have to ask you, KD, what was it like for you to win your fourth gold medal this year? Yeah, it was incredible, man. I think the team we had was so much fun to be around. You've been around dudes like Ant, Steph, LeBron, AD, the whole crew, man. It was just fun, you know, traveling the world with them, talking life with them, talking basketball. I had a great time. Ant-Man, you let us know that KD was your favorite player growing up. What was it like for you to team up with the guy that you looked up to? And tell me about that oop that y'all connected on against France. Wasn't that crazy? Did y'all see that? Uh, it was dope, man. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he missed, I don't think he played in any of the, uh, like, the first five games. And his first game back versus uh, whoever we played, Serbia. He was like eight for eight in the first half. Quick. <laughs> Fuck it. So, Everything Fuck that I, I dreamed of playing with him was it came true, and then, you know what I mean he was incredible throughout the whole thing, and um, you know winning the gold was super super dope man. Steph Steph put on the show it he, was crazy. He closed the show. So KD, can you give us some insight of what it's like with your teammates at Team USA when you're in the locker room, when you're on the airplane, when you're on the bus? Like who's the jokester? What are those conversations like? How are you guys interacting? Yeah, it was it was uh, it was fun. We talked. We always talked about the season. Ant was probably the biggest jokester in the locker room. <laughs> he had all the funny sayings that we picked up on. You know that 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 Atlanta slang came, was in the locker room heavily. No doubt. We we just you know we just had a great time, man. We talked about everything from you know sports to music to what we like to do, what we got in our careers. It was just it was good being around the brightest of the brightest minds in the NBA some of the most successful dudes in the league. We got some of the youngest and, you know, successful dudes in the league, too, that was on that team. So I had a, man, I had a great time. I miss it. So, Ant-Man, since I hear you brought the flavor to the locker room, what were you guys listening to? What, what, you, what you listening to on the playlist these days? Man, KD only want to listen to Drake. <laughs> <laughs> That's his family. <laughs> so, you know, I was with him the whole time, so I wouldn't listen to nobody but Drake. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Any gaming? Y'all guys do any gaming? Nah, he's sorry. Oh, uh, what y'all play? Let's talk, let's talk about this. What kind of gaming we got going on? So, we're going to set up the, the, the 2K Mad. We ain't played, but it was a lot of trash talking for a month straight yeah. about who the best Madden yeah. player, 2K, best Call of Duty player. So, throughout the now, season. We know who the best Call of Duty player is. I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know that yet. So, once we get on the sticks, uh, pause, we're we going to see who the <laughs> we gonna see who the best is. <laughs> now, nah, that is funny. Boy, I tell you. Can take the hood out of you, but can't take you out of the hood. Never. So, being back in the United States after winning that gold medal, can you give us an, a snapshot of what the celebration was like post game? After the gold medal, I'm not gonna lie. Me and him had a uh, what they call it, a drug test. We had a <laughs> drug what? test. What? Yeah. yeah. We yeah. couldn't even really celebrate in the locker room for real, cause me, him, and Steph had to take like a drug test or something. It's only right they gave yeah, Steph was, one. Yeah, the way he was, closed that deal. Because yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> he supposed to got one after the first Serbia game. <laughs> exactly. What, what is it like as great players in your own right, being on Team USA, you're normally a volume player. You touch the ball every time down on your normal team. But as he mentioned, you come in the game off the bench and you go eight for eight. Can you enlighten the fans about that level of effectiveness and efficiency and focus that it takes to adopt a new role and come in and be as effective as you were. Yeah, I just I get a credit to my teammates. I remember coming in that first game off the bench and they were always looking for me when I was open. They were cutting for me to get me open shots, you know, so uh, they, they were threading the needle when they didn't have to, you know, so my teammates did a good job of keeping me involved. We had a nice chemistry in that bench unit uh, once I came back and we knew how to play off of each other. And, you know, me and Ant coming in, Providing that scoring punch, it was easy when we get to shoot all the balls every time we come down. So, coach gave us that leeway, and we was able to come out there and execute. It was games that we we kind of bust the game open from off the bench. You know what I mean? So it, it was fun playing a different role. For you, and I know it was a unique position because you're playing with so many other great players. The balance of when to defer 
and or when to be aggressive. How did you juggle that? It just depends on who's on the floor. You know what I mean? If I'm on the floor with Steph, Brun, and KD, I know I got to defer. Big dogs, <laughs> yeah. as you called them. Yeah, but if, like, it's just me and KD, I'm going to defer to him a little bit. But he was giving me the ball, so I was having to 